All right, so today we're gonna to talk about the cleaning supplies that you need for husbandry. First, we're gonna start off with the mop bucket. Me and Chelsea are co-leader and leaders, so our task is to make sure the mop bucket is filled for everybody, so once it's time to do the mopping, they don't have to come in here and fill it themselves. So you'll come up to this where it says mop bucket, you'll take the handle, and you'll go ahead and fill it up. usually fill it up more than that. But once it's filled up all the way, then you'll go ahead and take your KOE or your rescue, you'll pour it in the cup, and then you'll pour it in to the mop bucket to make sure that everything smells really well and everything is disinfected so when Mr. Spanks walks in, this is the first thing he smells versus poop. And then you'll get your mop head and put it in between, close it and always make sure to twist it so it can be tightened and your mop head won't fall. <laughs> and then you can start mopping. The leader, one of the chores is to wash dishes. You'll get your Dawn from under the sink. And also always make sure to start filling up, filling it up, and then just pour some of the Dawn, and that's how you wash dishes. Under here is where the trash bags are for all of the trash cans. And then next, over here in this cabinet, is where you will find all the extra Excel bottles to clean kettles. And then if you ever come across one of these bottles empty, where you fill up the mop bucket, it says trigger, and you can fill this up. Okay, so today we're getting, um, we're gonna be cleaners for this husbandry shift, so we're just getting our bedding and our towels ready so we can be able to put the proper bedding for all the animals in there, and then so we can clean all the cages. Yes, and we have to make sure that we have a lot of towels, big enough towels to clean, and make sure that the bedding is big enough, small enough, make sure that it covers the crates, make sure that it's thick enough, that it um, supports the animal, and all of that other good stuff. Or whatever, but on the way in, we come over here, we grab our water jugs. This is to fill up the water for the dogs. You have to make sure that they're full, keep them full and refill them and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so here's where you would get your um, water bowls was you're cleaning the kennel so you'll get you'll go ahead and clean your kennel first and then once it's clean you want to put a water bowl in there with the water jugs that trisha just showed you so um the water um whenever you fill the water you're either gonna fill it in just a regular bowl or um some dogs need a no spill bowl because they play around with the bowl and spill their water the way that you know if your dog needs a no spill bowl is that there'll be a green sticker Saying water no spill bowl. Okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some no spill bowls. Also be sure to appropriate the size of a bowl with the size of the dog because you don't want to have a small dog with a huge bowl with a large amount of water or a huge dog with a small bowl. You have to be logical. Take it out. There will be two baskets here. You would put it up in the basket. 
you would put the correct bedding here, take this one out, put that one in, and if the dog needed water, you would use one of these pitchers to fill the water up and, you know, take the crate out, put it back in if it needs to be changed, and, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate on this one just to make sure everything's clear. So first, so first you would pull out the crate and then, so you would pull out the crate and spray actually all over the crate. You want to spray it on the wall, on the floor, and um, I'll talk about this in a little bit. So you will pull out the food bowl and the water bowl. You will pull out um, the food and the water bowl. You can place them on the bottom while you finish cleaning the kennel. And then um, your towel, you just want to make sure it never touches the floor. Since you are cleaning the kennels, you don't want this nasty stuff on the floor to go on in the kennels. So you would get your towel then. You can either like spray your towel and then start cleaning your bar. Or like, put the towel behind and spray it. So you won't spray any other towel. Also observe it to make sure that it doesn't have holes either. 